الحمد لله رب العالمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله وسلم عليه These meanings are related, and, according to the great North African lexicographer Ibn Manzer, 630-711 H, 1233-1311 CE, all the senses of the word zakat occur in the last of God's revelations to humanity, the Quran. These nuances are also highlighted in the explanations of zakat by this book's messenger, Muhammad, on him be peace, the last of the 123,000 prophets Allah sent among people. Let's take a quick look at zakat's meanings. What does zakat mean in the Arabic language? The literal, or denotative, definition of the word zakat, sometimes spelled zaka, is, increase, as in growth, nama. The word also connotes, betterment, tasan, righteousness, salah, praise, hamd, blessings, baraka, purification, tahara, or, commendation, mod, in the sense of laudation, meaning to extol with praise. The word zaka also holds the senses of justness, integrity, and honesty, along with justification and vindication, while zaka means to sweeten something. The use of the word zakat, which comes from the three Arabic root letters za, ka, wa, and also za, ka, ya, occurred in Arabic poetry before Islam. What does zakat mean in the Quran? Zakat in the Quran names a charity that Allah obligates Muslims to pay yearly on their surplus money and some forms of property to the poor and needful. The scholars have termed this zakat al-mal, or the obligatory wealth alms. There is another kind of zakat due on all minimally able Muslims at the end of the Ramadan fast, zakat al-fitr, the obligatory alms of fast-breaking. Zakat is not a tax. It is a payment in kind made on wealth that the sole owner and grantor of all wealth has invested for a year with individual believers on behalf of the poor, vulnerable, and deserving. It is not a favor the rich grant to these eight categories of people designated by Allah himself, splendid and resplendent, in the Quran as eligible to receive zakat. It is the divinely established right of these eligible recipients as the true, divinely designated owners of this wealth. The Prophet Muhammad, on him be peace, specified, 1. The kinds of wealth on which zakat is due, 2. Their thresholds of surplus, nisab, and, 3. Their rate of payment, mostly 2.5%. He also enshrined zakat as the third of the five pillars of worship Islam is built on. The Quran uses the word, zakat, 32 times all but two of these referring to this sense of zakat as obligatory almsgiving. Its other two uses mean purity. In 26 of these Quranic usages Allah conjoins zakat to its sister obligation of the salah prayer, that is, the standing, bowing, and prostration that distinguishes Muslim worship and that is the second pillar upholding Islam. This use of zakat to name Islam's obligatory alms comes very early in the Quran's revelation, it occurs eight times in the surahs, divinely revealed divisions of the Quran, sent down to the Prophet, on him be peace, during the first phase of his call in Makkah. But take note that the word, sadaqa, which has come to mean, voluntary charitable offerings in the usage of Muslims, mostly meant zakat in revelation. Both the recited revelation of the Quran and the unrecited revelation of the Prophet Muhammad, on him be peace. This, then, is the legal meaning of zakat in Islam. It is the correct assessment of the kinds of wealth zakat is due on, and its proper thresholds, rates, payment, and distribution that the Muslim scholars of law strive to understand, make clear, and propagate in every place, time, and circumstance among Muslims.